Hey, welcome back to the channel. I've got a quick one for you here today. We are doing an envy only round up here at Huber Heights Park, so let's hop right into it. All right, so we're just gonna throw all envies. I've got like six different plastic molds of envy. Uh, this video was by request from Keegan, so hole number one. You guys have seen me throw this before. Need that to fade up there. That'll work. Thank you. All right, and since this is basically parked, we'll just see if we can tap it out. All right, I wasn't sure if it recorded it the first time I played hole one, but it did. It just didn't get the putt. For some reason, it stopped recording when I bent down to pick it up. So, just do a funzy drive and then go down there and redo that putt. Go in, go in. Oh, a little bit short. I definitely did not think that that would be the problem. Now, I'm not sure what happened when I played hole one the first time. I parked on the same spot right of the basket and I went to putt it and the camera just turned off and I don't know why. Uh, so we played hole one again for fun. But let's see if we can put this putt in. Thanks, stick. So simple, a caveman can do it. That'll be just fine. All right, so a little bit short here. The um, basket is center frame behind the edge of trees there. I'm going to see if I can use this Electron one. I think, I think it'll be a little less stable. That way I can get a little flex out of it. And maybe get it up there. Yeah, it's perfect. That is perfect. All right, so this one's not the easiest to par when you're using a driver sometimes. So... Putter making me throw more controlled probably is a benefit. Let's move over to three. All right, so hole three, I need to throw something that can go up there straight and maybe fade late. Um, I always tell this story whenever I grab one of the first four discs I ever bought, but this is one of them, my Neutron Envy. I bought this along with my Thrill, my Fireball. But this is definitely one of the first ones I ever bought. We'll just see how that flies up there. Oh. Just a little bit too much turn. It's on the trail. All right, I put a little bit too much flex on that, but we'll see if we can just hyzer this up the right side gap. Forehand would be pretty easy there, I think, but let's do the backhand play. See if we can control this and just pure hyzer because we got a little headwind. I uh, let it straighten out a little bit. It's gonna be back side of the tree. Uh, they're leaving me with a 20-footer. All right. Now, I've been a hot mess lately. I'll tell you, I went out Sunday morning. Was that yesterday? That was yesterday, and I forgot my putters because I took them out to practice putting with, like my actual coys. But that was a little bit closer than I thought it was, about 15 feet. Pull four of the baskets down the left side over there from where I have the camera. Sets up good for the plasma. See if I can put it up there on a hyzer. Need that to fade in. Don't hit the tree. Hey, he did it. I don't even think I need to set up the camera for this one. That's just inside my putting range. No, I've missed doing that before. Move on. All right, hole five, and we're gonna go with the uh, prism plasma envy because we got a little headwind here. I don't know if it's gonna flip it for me or. I gave that a weird snap. 
I don't usually do that, and I don't know why I did, but it worked out. All right, so we got a long look here. Not bad. Let me actually try this Electron Envy. A bad bid for me. All right, so hole nine, we're going to go to the Proton Envy and just see if we can go left of the um, gazebo out there. Get left. Get left. That'll work. All right, so here we are. We got kind of a tricky shot. I would say normally just a little forehand, but due to the height of this, I don't think I can get it there on a scuba. I don't have that much scuba power. We'll go forehand over the top. I'm not sure if the camera can see, so I'll try to get out of the way. Just chip this over and hyzer it so it doesn't flip over on me. Well, I did, but I went the wrong side. I was too worried about the camera. I should have been worried about making my shot. All right, so that was a really bad up shot, <laughs> but let's see if we can't make a putt. Yank it right. Just air ball. All right, so we'll just relay this fission envy up here. And try not to shank it, maybe. All right. And we'll move on up. All right, so we had solid distance there. Problem is... The positioning's not great. I would rather be over there. We're going to go backhand, just try to throw this straight. I was planning on trying to get a tap in four here, so if we can get that, that'll be good enough. That was good power, but bad line. I'm just too afraid to throw it into that basketball court. It's a little bit better. Put a little bit too much distance on that and not nearly enough turn, but I don't want to risk going into the basketball court, so a four is not a problem here, so we'll run this and see if we can snag a three. Fade. And now you know why I use coys for putters. Hey, I just stepped up and threw it in because I didn't expect to make it. All right, so hole seven, this will be a fun hole. Um, I'm going to go with the Electron in because I haven't taken it off the tee yet. And just try to throw it straight. It should turn on its own a little bit and hopefully follow the path. And that's going to turn a little bit more than a little bit, but we'll get some tree help. Nothing wrong with some tree help. All right, so let's see if we can backhand this Electron Envy up in there. I got to really hyzer this one because this one's less stable than the other ones. Yep, see it just coasting right, even though it's on a hyzer. It'll give me a long look. All right, the question is, do I have two in me? This is actually only about a 20-footer. Maybe even a little bit closer. But as you've seen, I am not good putting with actual putters. With plastic putters. Thanks, Basket. Basket did all the work there. That was high and left. All right, so last hole, I think I found the plasma one the least. And we're going to play this like a par 4. It's 411 feet. So we're going to see if we can chip it up and around on a hyzer up through here. That'll work. Make it up the belly. All right. Let's move on. Um, I don't know what's going on. I got up here, my camera wasn't recording, so I didn't don't know if it recorded the upshot or not. 
actually threw every envy I have besides the electron one as an upshot. And this is the best spot was the prism envy landed here. We're gonna see if we can make this putt and then get this video wrapped up. I don't know what's going on with my equipment today. Hey, we'll take that. All right, so we'll wrap this up. Like I said, there's nothing really to talk about here in closing. This isn't like a review of the Envy. I just got requested to do an Envy round by Keegan. So Keegan, this one's for you. If anyone else watching has a request for a video type, you can uh, just put it down in the comments or you can email me, dismith, this golf at gmail.com. And that's it for this one. We'll see you in the next one. You know, I hate to say it, but I kind of like the way that the Electron Envy was putting out here today. And that's why I don't use them. That's only 15 foot at most, so nothing impressive. You know, one thing I can show you before I take off here is I put the touch on the tripod so I wouldn't have to carry my bag. It just fit all my envies in there really nice. Wait, do I have all my envies? Oh, my proton. We'll grab that. See, that's my problem. I always forget my damn discs.